Well, hello, Bob Dendry here and welcome back to City Skylines where we are building the city of Lorikeet Valley. So, today is going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do is mostly focus on sort of cleaning up the build, doing a little bit of detailing, things like that. And one thing I definitely want to be looking at cleaning up is the traffic, especially in the uh, CBD area here, which we haven't really been looking at recently. We've been focusing on um, you know, stuff going on on the other side of the river here, but things aren't looking fantastic in the CBD right now. We've got a lot of abandoned buildings. We've got um, quite a bit of traffic backing up across the river and um, got some traffic backing up on the other side as well. So that's more or less what we're going to be focusing on this um, in this build. A couple of things I want to show off first of all. Um, I mentioned in the last episode that um, there were some props missing from the IKEA that we plopped and as you can see I um, got the prop pack that we needed so we've now got our lovely IKEA sign and um, engulfed chairs which I used to have um, so that should be a little bit better. Um, I also wanted to touch on probably, I mean, for me, it's the elephant in the room, but I, mean, I don't know if it is for you or not. But the last episode, if you've watched it sort of in the last or oh, the first couple of days it was put out, it was pretty terrible, to be honest. The edit was crap. And I, if I haven't already done so when this records, I will probably later be recutting it um, to get rid of a lot of the crap, especially around when I built this parking lot. It just was not good. But um that's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll get there in the end. Um, I'm hope it will be a lot better once I've recut it. Now, another thing I want to do is get down a service station as well. So I have gone and got myself a little BP that we can uh, place down just at the entrance to our shopping center here, which um, is quite often where you see a BP in this sort of right at the entry. So that's cool. Get you a petrol, get a, a crappy wild bean coffee probably. And um, yeah, all done and easy. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at as well is our buses that we're using for our university loop. So I sort of stuffed around with it a bit when I uh, lay it down and I could not get it to work. Um, I think we ended up using just vanilla buses if I can find a bus that we're using here. Nope, not that one. Um, but I believe I know what the issue is. And I think it's due to the fact that we're using a biofuel bus depot rather than a uh, um, just a regular bus depot, which I think is a bit silly. To be honest, I think you should be able to use um, any bus from the biofuel bus depot. But I think how it's now set up with the with the new update is that you can only use biofuel buses out of there. So I just want to have a look and see if we can get down a um, just a regular bus depot and see if we'll uh, we'll have access to it. In fact, what we could actually do is place down a ride bus depot, which of course we're going to do. Um, and it probably makes sense to have it over here with our little uh, um, sort of transport hub we have set up. But what I might do is flatten out a nice little pad for it and um, we can go from there. So I think we might have it on the other side of the road and we'll probably butt it right up against uh, our freight line. Sure, we got rid of all the uh, overhead wires in this bit as well. What is going on? We definitely did. So I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> Things are behaving a bit strange. But anyway. So let's pick a nice height that we can uh, level this out to. And I reckon probably about there. Yes, we've got some cliff textures, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, I probably will actually just place a sort of a key along here. Oops. To, to sort of make those a little bit nicer. Okay. So I've not actually placed one of these down before. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh, I like it. 
I like it a lot. Got some little, uh... Oh, that's lovely. I actually really like that asset. That's really nice. So we'll just leave it there at the moment. And, um... I'm just going to delete this uh, biofuel bus station completely. And let's see if we can now... Oh, look. I think those are the ones we selected already. No, they're not, but they are... Uh, buses that are coming out. <laughs> what about that one? Nope. Nope. Okay. I thought that might have fixed it. Okay, so I've gone in here and it's completely freaked out. Um, gosh. Okay, that was strange. Will it do it again if we go back in again? Yes, it will. It is losing its mind. So we can't select types. Jeez, what is happening here? Are they all like that? No, that one's not. And that one's using the correct vehicles as well. Okay. So what we're going to do here? We're just going to delete it. Because <laughs> there is something seriously wrong with that bus route. All right, let's 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 try this again. I'm sure all the people are like, oh, they're, they're pissed. There's a lot of people waiting there as well. So clearly something did uh, did work out all right with uh, our choice to run a bus route there. So let's try again. We will have it come down here. Stop out front there. And then... Yeah, let's just let's just have it do that. Slightly slightly rejigged. Mm, no. No, actually, we want it to not go that sort of back route there. We want it to come straight back up through uh Bert's on way. So I will put one there. Doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> but um Okay, perfect. And it looks like it's now just spitting out random vehicles. That's good, actually. That should hopefully allow us to use some vehicles that we want to use. We're going to probably go these two buses and sort of get a little bit of a uh, mix of both and I think I want to try and get like two vehicles we still can't ch change the vehicle count modifier though which is interesting we'll try maybe just uh, two and see if that will work no it's still not Oh, hang on. No, never mind. It is working. I just had incorrectly selected that one. So we'll get those two removed. But yeah, the vehicle count modifier. It's, it's like not impacting how many vehicles are going out on the line, right? It's interesting. But at least we've got the buses that we want to have now. <laughs> rather than having to use the uh, the default ones. So I'm happy with that. It is good. Perfect. Okay, so as we go inside the earth for a second there, that's done. And what I want to do here is probably do a little bit more detailing around our um, homemaker center here. I have got a couple more props. We've got a 
IKEA sign that we can put out the front. Well, that's a very large IKEA sign, isn't it? <laughs> that's all right. So you can see it from all angles, coming down the hill. If you're on Bird's Song Way, you can see it. And I've got these really cool little flags that I actually really like. Um, and if I think about the Ikea that I used to live near, they had these sort of lining the street. So I want to see... No, we want the flags. <laughs> Let's have a look and see um, how we can do this. So let's space them out a bit more, maybe up to 10. Um, I've actually not used this one before. Okay, scroll. Nice and simple. So we've got some Ikea signs there. And we're just going to go the other side as well. We'll use a different colour for this one as well, just because. Okay, nope. we have to come from that side as well. Um, gotta do a 180. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So nice, you're coming in and you can see... All the signs telling you there's an Ikea nearby. Love it. Big fan. And another thing I want to do is a lot of work on our roundabouts. Try and get them a lot nicer. Um, do some sort of intersection, intersection marking type stuff and um, hopefully get them a little bit more functional as well. This roundabout's okay. Um, it's not getting a like, heap of major use right now but I want to definitely work on this one here because I think this is one where we are probably at risk if we're not careful of sort of you know coming undone a little bit <laughs> so a couple of things I want to do here for the moment um, I, I want to actually extend our lane here I want to make it a four lane and have it basically um, a sort of a straight through slip lane type thing. So we'll start off by doing that and we'll be able to get our marking sort of all, all marked up to um, take advantage or, or to sort of align with that. But I hope this works. And we'll need to do a little bit of traffic managing to make that work as well. Okay. So first of all, this one goes straight through and this one goes there, that one goes there. Well, actually you can go either one. And we next want to move on to this junction. So that one you must go straight through. And um, I think we'll probably allow changing for this one. It's probably going against what you're supposed to do with uh, a roundabout, but I think it'll be quite cool if we can get it to get it to sort of work, I guess. And now with that one fixed up, I want to do some marking on this entrance. In fact, first of all, let's no control it. And we want to... Um, these should be flat, so I don't know why turning it to slope would affect anything. Oh well. Um, basically, I want to... Just stretch this entire intersection out. Probably all the way up to like 125% to give us a little bit more visibility. We might want to drag this one back as well, a little bit as well. From there, 
we're going to ban crossing. And from there we can start to mark it up as well. Alrighty. I'm just going to start laying down a few sort of guidelines. To hopefully <laughs> we can uh, work out what we're doing here. What we're going to do here, we're going to get a filler in here, which is going to be a asphalt. And so let's have a look. Pavement is what I mean by asphalt. <laughs> just going to have to do some little, little bit of finagling. I think that's good. That's interesting. What's 
Well, what's this all about? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's uh let's not do that. How do we fix this? We can hopefully attach it there. So I might get rid of this filler and see if we can redo it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Much better. Okay, I think that is pretty good. Yeah, let's make sure we've got all our giveaways and all that. Yeah, we've got a giveaway. What was that? <laughs> okay. Okay, but that should be pretty good now. That should be um, fairly smooth flowing, I hope. Now, this is something that we need to look at. This bridge, it is a choke point. It funnels all the traffic, which is, you know, generally bad. Um, it's sort of a issue that we engineered ourselves, to be completely honest. Um, and uh, I mean, it's a problem we have really in Sydney as well. If you look at Sydney Harbour, there's one crossing point though. there is actually two since maybe early 2000s or late 90s with the Sydney Harbour Tunnel but it, it's a lot of traffic that is concentrated in a sort of a very small area and it does cause issues when there's accidents and stuff like that but let's have a look and see if we have anything we can do to potentially make this a little bit better what is going on over there let's notice someone was just stopped Oh well. So first of all, let's have a look and see where people are actually going. So we'll use our traffic routes to work that out. And as you can see, obviously we've got people coming from absolutely everywhere to get over here. That's, that's something we expected um, because it's really the only way of crossing the river unless you want to go sort of all the way up on the uh, highway here to get around which probably isn't going to work for many people but as you can see this is very clearly our major arterial it uh, absorbs traffic from everywhere from over in the Banksia Hills area from Lorikeet Valley and takes it over here most of it goes into the city and stays in the city but some people do use it to um, traverse and leave the city as well so what are we going to do here a lot of it is private vehicles, it looks like. And that gives us an opportunity where potentially, maybe we can improve our public transport. Look at this, this mass, this is a major sort of transport corridor here. Why and why are people doing this and not using buses? Let's check out our transport routes.
everything's blue. So let's fix that. <laughs> let's change some colors up. I, there is an auto line color mod. Apparently I don't have it. So I will need to look at getting that sometime in the future. So one big thing I'm getting from the traffic is that people want to go from Banksy Hills into Lurini. We don't really facilitate that movement right now. Um, you can get over to potentially a train station. In fact, we don't even have really any, um, any connection with our train station. So a couple of things we can probably do. We can get some connections to our train station here at a uh, bird song that's probably a good first step and we could potentially look at doing a direct route as well that goes from sort of the this part of banksy hills and just goes across potentially via this uh you know what i actually don't like this being used too much as a route because it's a low capacity road it's all a small one unit road so it's not really that appropriate for transit so potentially we'll come down here and um, yeah, join on there and see how we can go with that. So let's get two routes set up. One joining up to Birdsong Station and one going direct to Lorini and see if we can potentially do a little bit better. So how is this going to go? What sort of buses do we want to use here? I'm, I'm really liking these XE buses. So we might continue on with those for the moment. We will try and get a interesting color for this one that we're not already using, which I forgot to save. And what are we going to call this one? We're going to call this the 221 Banksia to Birdsong Station. So let's get that one out there and moving now. Which hopefully we should start to see some buses coming out of our lovely ride bus depot. Eventually. Why are these big vehicles just queuing? We've already got passengers waiting at our stop, so clearly there is a desire <laughs> for um for some usage here. So these vehicles are queuing and aren't going out. What if we ch change the bus? Is there potentially a problem with that model? I see it sing. 
next vehicle in greater than zero seconds. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is absolutely the bus I want to be using. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> um, hang on. I mean, it's using vehicles that we don't want on the line anymore, but but it's spitting them out now. Okay, I'm. It's working, so I'm just going to leave it, and it can it can you know just do its own thing. <laughs> Let's get a name put on it though. So it seem, there seems to be some real sort of lag in the uh, in the game actually spitting out the vehicles using IBTT. So that obviously that's most likely to do with the um, um, update. So I'm, I'm sure that'll be fixed in in due course. No issues there. And I just want to spend the remainder of my time doing some decoration work on the university here. Um, obviously we laid down a bit of tree, but we sort of didn't lay down too much else. Um, once again, this would be a, like a major regeneration project that the uni would be involved in. Um, obviously as part of them taking over this former landfill site. So they would be absolutely all over this. <laughs> and, um, it would be, yeah, probably something that they like quite, um, were quite proud of probably. <laughs> I think that looks quite nice. It's a lot, lot more sort of wooded than it was uh, before. It's also killing my frame rate a little bit looking in this direction. <laughs> so we'll try and avoid doing that. Um, but yeah, it's good. Uh, one last thing I want to do. I'm going to ban heavy traffic on, on this sort of section of Green Street here. Um, it's just not appropriate for um, tr like delivery trucks and stuff like that to be using this. So we're going to use um, Traffic Manager to put uh, some vehicle restrictions on this. So if we, if we, we control click or shift click or something, shift click applies it to the whole section. So that will um, hopefully, um, yeah, stop those sort of heavy vehicles using this section of road, which probably isn't really um, up to scratch to be able to support uh, those sort of uses. But yeah, that's that's going to be about it for this episode. A, a nice sort of simple one. All right, so we didn't really do too much in this episode. It was mostly a, a cleaning up and beautifying type episode. So I hope 
that was okay. Um, once again, I hopefully will have the previous episode re-edited and re-uploaded. So hopefully that's a little bit more watchable. But next time we're definitely going to be having to be working on our residential because we're obviously in quite a bit of demand and we're starting to actually have some you know businesses shutting down as we don't have enough residents to fulfill the jobs so we'll need to find a nice patch of land that we can possibly put together a new sort of development area to bring in some more residents to our city if you've enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time i post a video links to my social media are in the description as well as my discord if you want to join the conversation and my buy me a coffee if you want to uh, provide some financial support to the channel. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.